Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with an unboxing of some African beads. I'm so excited. It's been such a long time since I've actually gotten new African beads. I have had some ethnic bead hauls, but um, I have like unpurchased carts in like six different African bead stores. <laughs> and the reason why I decided to check out with this one, there are a couple. Um, I can't, get, I'm not going to the Tucson shows this year because of COVID and uh, I just really get so much enjoyment about uh, at looking all those unique beads and buying the unique beads um, and I don't get to do that this year. So I was like, okay. The other thing is I haven't bought African beads in a while and part of that reason is because they're really expensive and I always want to buy a nice variety. Well, I finally found a shop that will sell them in smaller quantities than a whole long strand that I typically won't use and it's called home of beads and they're on etsy and i will include the link below but i got a great array of different things for the same price that i would probably pay for um, maybe five or six bigger strands um, from a regular shop not that i don't love those regular shops but i just wanted to get like i wanted to boost up my my african bead collection and this was a really easy way to do it um, I, they didn't include a packing slip. I do have my email from what, what I purchased, but I don't have the prices in front of me. I'm gonna include a link to their shop. You can kind of browse around. They offer full strands, half strands, um, things like that. So the first thing I'm pulling out are these. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. They're tan and red and green. These are so pretty. They're like little barrels. And I'm still learning all the different names of the beads. I think these are Krobo beads and I don't know what that means so I need to do some more research on my end but I just love using the textures and the different patterns of these African recycled glass beads. Um, I have seen how they're made. It's like it's stunning. They powder um, bottles and other glass things in, like by breaking it up like mashing it up and they turn it into a powder and then they make beads and then they paint them and it's just it's absolutely amazing. Okay. Here we go. Oh, these are really pretty. And I just love that, you know, I really wanted these. I just don't know that I would use a huge strand. And I love that there's the option to just get a half strand for a few dollars. This is really neat. These are really cool. We have some little flowers. They're cream and orange. I am in love with that color combo. And actually, these are really cool. They're, the cream side is glossier. And then um, the um, orange side's more matte. So that's really neat. And there are quite a few on here. Those are really cool. I love these. These are gonna be great spacers. You could even use these as a bead cap if you wanted to. So neat. Ooh, so these looked a little gray on, on the screen, but that's okay because I love blue. You guys know I love blue, and I, I thought they were a little blue, but I couldn't, I just really couldn't tell. Um, I love these, and they're, they're individual. They're not like larger. They look a little larger, but they're perfect for making bracelets because they're already curved. So beautiful, it's nice, it's such a beautiful combo. Um, we're definitely gonna have some African bead bracelet uh, and necklace videos coming up because I there's no way I want to hoard this stuff but there's no way I'm going to be able to because it's just so yummy oh, it's just so yummy already <laughs> we're only four pieces in okay I thought these were so cool they're just they're kind of mind-bending they look a little um, like optical illusion-y I just like really love that so neat and they're pretty big these are pretty chunky beads so cool Ooh, we have some rondelles or some heishi beads. They're not really rondelles. In glass and it's like a mustard yellow. So yummy. Those are so cool. I'm like, I'm, I know I say the same thing on each one, but they're so cute. We have some more tube beads. I'm pretty sure these are Krobo beads. These are just lovely. I can use these for uh, absolutely any patriotic thing, but these are really cool. Those are so neat. And these kind of also could go with like a nice like country feel too with those stars. That's really neat. Got red and green and well, it's like an orange red. It's almost like a, like a papaya, a little bit redder than papaya, but like a papaya color and green and orange and white and yellow. 
so much fun i love those little diamonds and they have to paint on every single diamond and then come back with a second color and paint the dash through there oh these are so yummy I'm like i'm so excited i want to eat them <laughs> um we've got a little strand of blue heishis a little thicker there they're really pretty such a good color unfortunately they were sold out of a lot of these colors because i would have gotten them in every color because this was under two bucks but um yeah that's a fantastic blue oh it's so pretty um blue orange cream and a little bit of like a white well yeah it's white and cream or pale yellow these are really neat and I, I think you kind of get the idea why I wanted the smaller strands because when you include a bead like this, you want it to stand out. You don't need a whole strand of something this fantastic or this fantastic. You just want um, this to be the focal. And I, I've learned that after purchasing um, African beads from other shops that you get a whole strand. Um, you want some diversity because most of the time I'm not going to use that entire strand and I've learned that for for myself sometimes you might but most of the times I, and most of the time I don't these I went back and forth on a couple times I took them out of my cart put them back in my cart took them out but I'm really happy I left them in they're very cool almost like a cheetah print but I just think they're really neat and I don't have anything like that and they would go with so many different beads I can actually really picture these looking nice next to some tiger eye tiger's eye tiger eye i don't know if there's an s in there <laughs> so i think that would look really neat i love the pile back here it's, it's looking so yummy um these are so cute i saw these at the last minute and i thought why not i love those colors and i think these color combos are going to make me think outside the box when was the last time you saw me use any of these colors together not recently or any of these colors together never <laughs> so I think it's gonna really um, kick my design up a notch you guys know that I already do some really pretty crazy uh, color combos but I'm, I'm loving these color combos because they're not things that I think of right away got another little strand of the heishis with um, in a nice bright orange these are kind of cool together those are old vintage calves colors calves colors for Cleveland calves oh. Um, and then <clears throat> I got this strand because uh, they were out of um, the single strands of some of these beads and I really wanted them. So I, I really liked that there was a, um, a mixed option. I love these. These look like little at symbols almost and little asterisks. These are really cool. So you get two of each bead and um, I think that's enough to make a really cool piece. You don't have to use them all together. Oh, I love these. One of my biggest um, goals this year is to create some African inspired polymer clay beads because these are just so colorful and fun and I really want to get to making more beads. I know I end up making pendants all the time, but I really love making beads too. So this is similar to this strand over here, but it's orange and blue and I really, really love it. I love these huge solid dots. I think I'm gonna try and um, use this as an inspiration piece for, for making my own beads. Um, I have some more of these heishis in a really yummy green. That is such a good color. Wow, these are so fun. I love this flower, um, like daisy pattern. It almost looks like a black-eyed Susan, but the, the color of the flower is not, not the right color. <laughs> but these are really, really yummy. And let me tell you, this came so fast. Um, it was free shipping. I don't remember uh, what their threshold is for free shipping, but I got free shipping and it's, it came in a priority box. It was so fast uh, and then um, it was really really well packaged it was inside the box with paper and then it was inside a mailer a bubble mailer and then inside some um, bubble wrap inside of a, a huge gallon uh, ziploc bag so it was it was really nice stuff didn't get crushed um, don't have to worry there these are so neat. I really love them. They kind of reminded me on the site. They were a little brighter on the site, I will say, but they reminded me of rainbows on the site because they were pretty bright and they've got the blue, the yellow, and the red. Um, I thought these were really fun. I would like them a little bit more if they were brighter, but 
I bought a small strand, so I didn't, I'm not really like out money and I'm still gonna use them. They're so fun. Love those. We've got some, <laughs> when I checked out with these, I thought they looked like monster eyes. Don't they look like, like little monster eyes on these beads? I, thought, I think I'm gonna take some inspiration from this and make some similar dotted beads too. If I can find the time. I feel like I say all these things, but I have no time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I would love to make some beads that are reminiscent of these. Oh, they're so fun. Oh, that's so yummy. I love those. I kind of wish I would have gotten more of those. Oh, there's a little note in here. So here's their information. This was kind of buried. Home of Beads, Authentic African Beads. Uh, thank you for your purchase from their Etsy shop. They also have Facebook and Instagram. I'll have to follow them there. And then, oh, cute. They gave me, they had included a little handwritten note and that was, and they actually sent me a, um, a nice email too after I purchased my beads and then they send you a little freebie. Sometimes um, African, you know, glass sellers, if they're really expensive beads, they don't usually include freebies. So this is really nice. Oh, it's a cute little um, spacer grouping. Very nice. I love it when that you get some samples of what else they sell. I will absolutely be back at this shop probably pretty soon <laughs> because you know like then I'm like oh well maybe I need to go get everything else I want <laughs> um, so these uh, are very similar to these they're just um, that like the same colors but in different um, formation they're so yummy these actually remind me of candy and then um, what do we have here oh these are kind of in the same family so nice. I think these were actually, I don't think they were in the same listing, but I think they were very close to each other. Oh, and then we have some green and blue, or it's almost like teal green and blue dots. I love that these patterns, since they're these are pretty prim primitive patterns on these, but they look great once you get a bunch of beads together. And that's what's gonna be awesome when I make my start making my own again this year. These are so fun. When you can always make your own coordinating beads. So if you have something, let's say you got only this many of these beads and you wanted something that goes with it, make something else in the same color family with a different pattern and it'd be fun. And then we have these beautiful blue glass beads. This is my favorite haul in a long time, I gotta say. I, I've had some really good hauls lately, but this one's given me all the feels today. <laughs> These are really pretty. Got a few more. I loved these. They're so simple. They're just black polka dot beads. Oh, very carefully. I want to grab this because it just came unknotted, which is okay. Oh, every it happens every video, guys. Brittany drops a bead somewhere. It's okay. It came unknotted. None of them are broken, and um, I'll find that bead no problem. But these are so so simple but really fun. And that just gives me a good idea to, to maybe make some other polka dotted beads. And you could do that by painting, you could do that with patina, you could do it with um, uh, rhinestones, you could do it with clay, just use two different colors of clay, you could do so many things. These are so yummy. I don't know why I love these so much, but that I think it's the polka dots again. These would look great with these actually. These three would look really good together. Those are so fun. Of course I had to get the turquoise beads. These are a little brighter in the pictures that they have on their site, but I actually really love these um, and it, I can make some brighter ones if I want using some translucent clay. These are really yummy and these are kind of like these. Two more. Got this guy. I think I threw him in the cart at the last minute. So much fun. And then last but not least, this one's actually really awesome. Yeah, this one, I, I think I've got some clear favorites, which are these two. I really liked this one. And they're, they're kind of like the same color families. Um, I love the polka dots. Love the mustard. Looks really great together. 
And then I think, oh, these guys. So here are some of my favorites from today. Um, I hope you guys check out this shop. Again, it's called Home of Beads. All the information will be below. Um, check them out. Let them know I sent you over. <laughs> I'm sure they'll they'll figure it out because you guys, when we, we find good deals, we tend to, to flock to them, right? Um, I am absolutely going to be placing another order probably pretty soon because these are just fantastic. And I'm just so thrilled with the idea that I don't have to buy a huge strand. So thank you so much for watching. Guys, let me know in the comments what you want what you want to see me make with these because I actually want to start making like right away. Um, and if you have specific ideas or a specific bead you'd like to see me use, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Are you waiting for dinner? Yeah? You hunky? You're very concerned about what's going on in the kitchen, aren't you? <laughs> Goldie, can you say hi? Say hi. Hi, everybody. We love you. And we're hungry. <laughs>